Hi guys, it's Angie with Fun Endeavors Tie-Dye Lab. Today I'm going to make an ice dyed scrunch shirt. This is on a button up shirt, so I prepped the shirt like normal and I went ahead and unbuttoned the shirt entirely so that I could get it to lay flat. The shirt is kind of a light chambray color and the fabric content on this shirt is 100% lyocell, which is just another form of rayon. I'm going to loosely scrunch it inside of the strainer, which I've placed over the top of a plastic container. I want to leave these scrunches pretty large, and I want to make them pretty tall. I want it to have more of a watercolor effect. For this shirt, I want to use colors that look a little bit more antique. So I'm using Sage Green from Dharma Trading Company, Dusty Purple from Pro Chemical and Dye, and Old Rose from Pro Chemical and Dye. I also would like to place the dye over the top of the ice, so I'm beginning by adding a generous layer of ice to the top of the shirt. After adding the dye, I added just a little bit of dry soda ash over the top and set the shirt aside to allow the ice to melt. This is what the shirt looks like after all the ice melted. I went ahead and left it alone and allowed it to process for about 48 hours. Then to rinse the shirt, I took it to my utility sink and I began rinsing it in cold water to rinse out the soda ash. I gradually warmed the water up to hot and continued rinsing to rinse out any of the excess dye that didn't bond with the shirt. Instead of continuing to rinse for a long time, I went ahead and added the shirt along with some hot water and a little splash of blue Dawn dish detergent to my sink. I soaked the shirt until the water was almost clear and then I put it into my washing machine along with a little bit of Dharma's textile detergent and washed it on a hot water cycle. And after the shirt was washed and dried, this is what it looks like. So what do you guys think about the shirt? I love this shirt. I think it turned out looking really pretty. I love the watercolor effect and I like the more antique color palette. All three of those colors split really pretty. Then the watercolor effect on this shirt along with the taller folds in the shirt make the shirt almost look like it's got flowers, like watercolor flowers on the shirt. I do end up with a couple of darker areas of dye but I don't think those look bad. Overall, I think the shirt ended up looking really pretty. But what do you guys think? Drop me a comment down below and let me know. And I sure would appreciate it if you would like the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you all for watching and I hope you have a great day.